Hello, I just want to go over the controls on the G131 tractor. Uh, right over here is your brakes. You can use them as steering brakes. Uh, one lever uh, activates one wheel, so you can turn using these also to keep it from rolling on a hill. Uh, this is a freewheel device down here. You spin this into this position, and there's a sticker on this battery box showing as such, but it puts it into a freewheel mode, which just makes the machine really easy to roll. But this is the position it would be in for doing any kind of work. Okay. Uh, our two gear selector rods here, one controls our speeds one through five, which is indicated here, and that's this rod. Then the other rod controls our forward and reverse and then high and low, okay? So we've got speeds one through five. Five is a transport speed, not for doing any work. It's locked out currently, at least in the at least in this position in the reverse in the reverse mode, and it's gets it locked out in the other position as well. So if you needed to use that speed, you would want to you would want to adjust this um, so that you could get to that speed. The F is a neutral here and also down here. Okay. In between, you can kind of find a neutral. It's not labeled, but if you have any of these, your shifters in, in this position here or here, it's essentially a neutral as well. Uh, this down here is reverse. Okay, it says RM. That's basically your reverse and or forward, depending which way your handlebars are. Currently, you're, you're, if you're set, this is machine set up in the mowing, the front mount position, in which case this is actually the forward um, the reverse gears from the sword position become the forward gears. So then we've got F is neutral. The red it says VEL, but the red is essentially your high, and you can it's color coded. And if you if you look up here and you can note that your higher speeds are red three and four, okay. And then the yellow over here is your low, okay. Uh, for running in front mount position going forward, this shifter needs to be pushed even probably a little bit further all the way into this position so you can go forward and then you basically toggle your two forward speeds with this shifter here um, going into either one or two okay let's come around the machine here so we've got oil fill here we've got our choke lever here This is our clutch lever, okay, to utilize your clutch lever, it's got a little trigger on it you can note. When you want to lock this thing in, just pull it all the way up, hold it down, and then let that trigger out, and then you can let go of the, let go of the lever. Uh, to release it, pull the lever up first back here, all the way up, and then grab your trigger, it'll be nice and loose, and then ease the clutch out, okay. As opposed to just grabbing the clutch, it will wear this little trigger mechanism prematurely if you do that. This is the operator presence control switch. If this is not held down, the tractor's not going to run. It will kill the tractor if it's, if it's running and, and you let off of that. So if something goes wrong and you have to stop fast, I mean, you'll just take your hands off and the, and the engine will die and the machine will stop. You've got an offset for your handlebars right here, this lever. Pull this lever in, and you can hold it, hold it down, and then move it left or right. When you note when you rotate the handlebars around, if you don't hold that lever down all the way, it's going to uh, rip the sticker up because there's a little pin right inside this, and it comes, it turns around this way when you rotate the handlebars from what we're in now, front mount mode to rear mount mode. So just make sure to hold that lever down the whole way, otherwise it's going to get ripped up. It won't really break anything; it'll just make it look uglier or ugly. This is the PTO engagement rod right here. This is the handlebar adjustment up and down. Okay, I'm going back to our engine for a minute. I'm kind of jumping around here. This is an electric start model. It's got recoil start as well. So we've got we've got an hour meter down here with tack and hours. You can toggle between the two with this. Push, pushing the button on here. We don't really care about the tack so much. We just put them on so we can, uh, for maintenance purposes, and monitor um, time the engine can run. Starting, here's your key right here to start with. This is to start the engine. Uh, this is fuel shut off. Currently it's on. This would be off. That's fuel on. So check your oil here with the tractor level. 
You got a dipstick on this one. Just make sure you're within the marks. Checking the transmission, same thing with tractor level. Here's your dipstick for the transmission. Just pull it up, wipe it off, put it back on. Make sure it's within the it's within the, the marks on the dipstick. I don't know if you can see it that well, but there's a mark here, lower mark, and an upper mark. 90 weight gear oil. clutch so we want to make sure to have some slack in this cable we can tell there's a little bit of slack in this cable currently if I just grab the cable sheath I'm pulling uh, away I'm pulling uh, away pulling this way and then I'm working this lever in the opposite direction so you can tell there's some slack in there we definitely want to have slack that will make sure we don't have the clutch uh, being partially engaged and heating up and um, ultimately burning up the clutch to adjust it, there's a lock nut here, which I believe is a, is a uh, 12 millimeter, or oh, maybe a 13. But anyways, back it out, and you could, if you screw this adjusting bolt in, it's going to create slack. If you back it out, it will tighten it up. This is our throttle. This is idle position here. That would be full throttle. Um... Oh, differential. On the front mount position, there's not a differential rod. It's right down here. This is our differential lever. If you're in sole working position, we have four rods, and one would be connected to this. But you can, you might have to have gloves on, but you can actually rotate this around, like I just did, to engage your uh, differential manually and when you're in mowing or front mount position if you need to. Um, Haze, they might be a little tight depending on how things are inside the axles, but uh, that's the differential right here. And there is no lever for it in this position, only in only in uh, rear mount. Okay. Any more questions? Just uh, give us a call or email. Thanks.